my name's Dan, this is Cora, and we're here today to talk to you about board games for families and children. Uh, and today we're going to talk about this game. What is it, Cora? Funkiverse. Funkiverse. Let's see how it plays. Funkiverse is a game for two people where you control Funko Pop characters and fight to see who wins. At the moment, you can play characters from Batman, Harry Potter, Rick and Morty and the Golden Girls, but there are sets for Jurassic Park and Back to the Future Plan too. In the game, you pick three characters each and decide what items they're going to use. For In our game, for example, Rose from the Golden Girls had a Batarang, which is awesome. And then you pick a scenario and a map to play. Each character's got some basic moves it can do, like move, fight, pick up things, stuff like that, but they've also got some special abilities that only they can do. And you do these by putting a token on a numbered track. And at the end of each round, the tokens all move down one number, and eventually they come off the bottom of the track, and then you can use them again. It's like a cooldown mechanism. Usually, the better the ability is, the longer you're going to have to wait to get the token back. Combat in this game is done really simply by rolling dice. The tracker tries to get as many hits as possible, and then the defender tries to cancel those out by rolling shields. And, and these exclamation mark things mean that they can either be three hits or three shields, depending on whether you're the attacker or the defender. So that's roughly how you play Funkoverse. So, Cora, what do you think about Funkoverse? It's quite cool how you can like collect these different ones. So we've got... Rick and Morty, Batman, Batgirl, Batman. Golden Girls, oh. your, your favourite TV programme of all time, I've isn't it? I've never seen it in my life. <laughs> um, and we've got, also got Harry Potter. Yeah, all sorts of things. Very collectible. A little bit expensive, um, <laughs> if you want to collect it. Not that you care about that. Um, and <laughs> no. Normally, I'm not massively keen on Funko Fungo pops because I, I see them as the uh, everything that's wrong with society, the, the monetization of pop culture and all that kind of stuff. But... But this is a game. This is a game. And therefore, we're we allowed to spend money on games. it. Yeah. <laughs> we love board games. We love board games. So, so we're all right. We're all right spending money on board Yeah. It is collectible. You don't have to collect all of it by any means. But um, you need to have at least four people, don't you? You need a four-pack or two two two-packs um, to make it worth their while, I would say. Because it comes in... Um, it comes in either four packs, and at the moment you can get a Batman four pack or a Harry Potter four pack. Or and then we've got these little. We got Rick and Rick, Rick and Morty, Morty, yeah, and, and it's just two. Yeah. And then we've got like these what? Rose and Rose and Blanche. But, which one's your favourite, Rose and Blanche in the TV show? Which one's your favourite? I've never seen them. Like <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, you're going to need at least four. And probably um, six to have a really good game. So you're going to probably need a base set and an expansion. So, so we've that's... got three each here. Yeah, and then also to make it really worthwhile, um, you're going to need. You're going to want to do some drafting as well. So you need more than six. So, what does that have... mean? <laughs> drafting's like when you pick which one okay. you're going to. Yeah, because that's fun, isn't it? When you go, well, I'll have that one and that one, and so the variety is fun. And the problem with that is it can get a bit expensive, really. If, especially if you don't get it on sale or you fail to pull full retail price, this game's going to cost you a lot of money if you get everything. But you don't need everything. You just need, you know, you could even get away with four people, but certainly six and you're fine, aren't you? So, um, so yeah. So how do you like the way the game plays itself? Do you, do you enjoy the, the, the game play? It's quite simple. Mm-hmm. I like that. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a good thing, yeah. It is quite simple. The basics of it are quite simple. The, the moving the Because this is only basic moves. There's not many, so yeah, it's, it's like quite simple. It's one, two, three, five. So there's five basic moves you can move. You and can... then these unique attacks and actions that only certain characters can do. Yeah. So so you can either you can do these basic symbols like move, challenge, assist, interact, rat anyway, whatever. There's some basic <laughs> basic universal things. But where the complexity comes in is, is in is in here. And actually I've had some still quite simple. Yeah, it's it is still quite simple. But I have had I've played this with, with adults and, and, and old the older children and it can get quite tactical and quite strategic and things. So so there's there's a definite meaty game in here. This isn't just a my first skirmish game. There's a there's a there's a meaty game in here that's that's a lot of fun to play. But it is simple and it's quite pared down and it makes it more enjoyable in my looking opinion. At the camera on the screen. I'm looking at the camera <laughs> Don't tell me how to YouTube <laughs> 
<laughs> Liberties. <laughs> in the middle of filming here, and you're criticising my technique. <laughs> Yeah. So, is there anything else you want to say about the uh, the Funko Verse? I have had so many different maps. Yeah. There's loads of different maps, loads of different scenarios. There's one where you basically just try and kill each other. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're all they're all you really try to kill each other, aren't you? And Slightly there, there's there. some where you try to get these tokens, which are worth points. Yeah. And then the first person to get up to ten points wins. And these points are really cool as well. So you get these these gems. Can you see those? And you can get different cards. <laughs> and you get different colours for yeah. each thing. So I believe this is the um, Ron and Draco pack. This is probably just the normal Harry Potter one. And this is the Rick and Morty thing. And that is the Golden Girls one. So there's all different colours. So the components are really nice. Um, the, uh, the the interaction's nice. It's a good little solid game. Yeah. Part of the reason we got loads of maps is because we got loads of sets. Um, you get one map per set. Even the even the um, expansion sets, you get get a set, don't you? Oh, yes. And these so, items are cool. Yeah, the <laughs> items are cool. Yeah. Um, so, so, it's so small that you can't even see it, but <laughs> <laughs> it's, there's a battery. Battery. So, what what do you think overall to Funkoverse? I think it's pretty good. You think it's pretty like good? A, uh, three star. <laughs> three star? We're doing star ratings now. <laughs> yeah? Three, three, three stars out three of... Three and a half. Three and a half stars out of what? Five. Here's me thinking we were back on the old thumbs up system. <laughs> I know. Three and a half out of five. No, no, three and a half out of five. We've matured, Cora. We've matured. <laughs> We've moved on since the star systems. Um, we... Cora gives it three and a half stars out of five. I think I'm going to give it four stars. I think it's a really solid, fun game. I've got my eyes all over. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, we can't give thumbs up now, so, so what are we going to say to sign off? It's a great game. It's a great game. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>